Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to compute the model participation factor and mass participation ratio using hand calculation. And before doing this, let's start reading these equations. We need to use this equation to compute these quantities. The first one is for computing the model participation factor. And the last one is for computing the mass participation ratio. As shown here, we need the mode shape and the mass matrix in order to compute these quantities. Okay, going to ETAPS, I will export first the mode shapes and I will check the unit here. I need to use millimeter and kilonewton. And from display, show tables, joint output, displacement, and diaphragm center of mass displacement. Of course, we don't need all of these load patterns I will clear all we just need here the model load case and the from modify show option please make sure about the first option here all modes because by default ETAP use 12 modes I will use all modes and OK and I will export this one to Excel Just copy this table to our Excel. Therefore, now we have all the mode shapes. They are just displacement as shown here. For example, if we need to check the first mode, those are the displacement of the first mode. It's a translational mode in the X direction because here the X direction have the largest displacement. We can check it also in ETAPS from display. Story response plots. And by checking diaphragm center of mass displacement. This is mode number one. We can check for example mode number four. This is how the structure will vibrate in each mode. Okay. And before proceeding also in our computation, I would like to show you how to compute the mode shape. Going to this book by Dr. Anil Chopra. Both equations are used for computing the mode shapes and the natural frequency. As shown here, we need to solve this equation but since this will lead to a mode shape equal to zero because the term inside the bracket equal to zero or the term outside the bracket will equal to zero therefore we need to take the determinant of this term inside the bracket and after we determine the natural frequency we will substitute the value of natural frequency again here to obtain the mode shape this is how we can obtain it i will show you this example I have solved it by myself. For example, if we have two story building and if we have this stiffness matrix, therefore the determinant of this equation, K minus omega N multiplied by M, is equal to this one. Therefore the determinant is this term multiplied by this term minus this term multiplied by this term and we solve the equation that leads to this one quadratic equation the one shown here then we solve for natural frequency omega n and the final answer is those two values after that we substitute again the natural frequency in the equation in order to obtain the mode shape this is the first mode shape and we substitute again omega 2 or the natural frequency for the second mode and we obtain mode number two and finally we can check how the MOS looks like as shown in this figure therefore this is how ETAPS solve the mode shapes but this is a very easy simple example actually this structure is so complex it have very large stiffness matrix and it's impossible to solve the mode shapes manually okay now let's apply the equations 
I will just compute the mass participation ratio for some modes, of course not for all modes. I will use the translational mode in the x direction. Checking this table, the model mass participation ratio as shown here, the first mode is the translation in x, the fourth mode, mode number 6, 9, 12, and 14. I will use these modes for the x direction in my computation. Okay, this is the first mode. I will copy the value of the mode shape from this Excel to this one to here. I have prepared this Excel, of course. We need mode number four now. Okay, I have copied all the mode shapes to this table. Here I'm just taking the maximum and the minimum value of each mode. And the used here is the maximum absolute of minimum and maximum values. I'm doing this because I want to normalize the mode shape. And it's up to you if you want to normalize the mode shapes. Therefore, the normalization is just taking the values here divided by the maximum absolute value in order to obtain one. Therefore, those are just the normalized values of mode shapes. Lastly, the participation factor is computed from this equation. The mode shape multiplied by mass matrix. Here I'm using the weight, it's just the same. And I have copied the weight of the structure from this Excel sheet from here. I have obtained these previously from ETAB and I have shown you how to obtain this one. Therefore the first column here is equal to the mode shape of mode number 1 multiplied by the weight. And the second one is just the same, however the mode shape is to power square. And here we sum the values for this one and for this one. And we do the same for each one of them. And the mass participation factor is just equal to mass matrix or mode shape multiplied by mass matrix divided by mode shape transpose multiplied by mass matrix multiplied by mode shape again. Of course, if you would compare the participation factor computed manually with ETAB's result, they are not the same because ETAB maybe normalized the mode shapes in different way, but we should obtain the same mass participation ratio. And finally, the mass participation ratio is just equal to this equation. It is equal to the model mass computed from this one divided by the total weight or total mass of the structure, which is this one. This cell to power square divided by this one divided by total weight of the structure. And in this table, those are the ETAPS results of uh, mass participation ratio. We can check that the first mode here, we have the same value. The fourth mode, the same value. And for mode number six, the values even close. Mode number nine, mode number 12 is not exactly the same. And mode number 14 is also very close to the results obtained from ETAPS. Actually, this is because the number of digits we are using in the mode shape here I'm just using three digits after the comma, while in ETAPS of course it's more accurate, but this is the way how to do it or how to compute the mass participation factor and the mass participation ratio manually. And thank you for watching and please continue the next video.